Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Immortals of Avium Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So in this episode, we are heading back to the Palathon to reveal what we've learned. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Jack, report in, soldier. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, sir. I, um, I, I found out the Binding Stone was created in a shrine fort somewhere in eastern Oroman. No exact location, but it's a start. Bad news is, I think Thaddeus died helping us find that out. I'm sorry, sir. I know you two were close. Don't blame yourself. I, uh, I had a tail. Sandrive will know we're coming for the Shrine Forge. That just means we'll come heavy. Return to the Palathon for mission planning. Oh good, all of the underworld portals are now. I see how it is. You're not going to even ask if I'm okay or explain why my bloody face got pulled through a Farkle stone or how you're evidently pals with an Alori now. Buddy, since I set out on this mission, I've had my politics questioned. My pants criticized, told my eyes were full of bunnies, and... And what? Oh, it's... nothing. It's... just been a lot, you know? We'll catch up when I get back. Just making sure... everything else... everything else we really can't do. I can't really get back to that. I would love to, but I, really, I don't think I can at the moment. Because I tried to um, access the ley line, but it's blocked. They're like, yeah, no, you're not allowed to go back that way just yet. So, that's a shadow fan I will have to come back for another time. Which is fine. Which is fine. Alright. Back we go. Before we head into the War Council, there's a few people I want to, I want to see if they have new dialogue. Like a uh, Hauser, uh, Silas. I would assume they have their dialogue. Your lordship, Jack. Yeah. What's the deal with you and Kirkin? She literally doesn't talk about you. Like she doesn't even really consider you part of the order. I'm sure that sometimes she wishes I wasn't. I'm an Eye of Lavenry as well as an Immortal. She may think the real reason for my being at the Palathon is to keep tabs on her. But she had to approve you joining us. I don't get it. Marcello the Lesser, Albus the False Inetian, the Lord's Grux, the Wax Witch of Deladel. All of them were Kirkin's enemies, here and abroad. Operative word being were. Mm -hmm. Now you understand how I got her endorsement. I'm a useful tool to her, Jack. You should only read Kirkin's silence as a shield of plausible deniability. If we're not seen talking, no one can prove she gave the kill order. That's fair. Talk to you later, Hauser. Uh, I really don't remember how to get to... where I'm wanting to go. There's a few... like, like I said, uh, maybe I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that stuff later. And I'm pretty sure their conversation pieces aren't going anywhere. Yeah, I don't really, th I don't really think it's like you can miss, you can actually miss their, uh, their topics of discussion. Nothing. Okay. Though, since we're going to be right by this guy right here, let's go ahead and talk to him as well. Welcome back, sir. They're waiting for you in the war chamber. Ah, never mind. Insane. The surface of Eastern Oriman is an endless desert. We'll never find the Shrine Forge this way. I'll switch back to the islands just above the Tempest Lair. The conquering hero returns. Hey, hero. See if you can make out anything but sand. Really with this? Already? Why are we looking at sand? Thaddeus gave me the history of Sandrak's Binding Stone. As you say, sir, it's some real end-of-time shit. The Aristea couldn't survive it. 
so our chances are on the wrong side of zero. Before he died, Thaddeus told me that the Shrine Forge used to create this binding stone was... Under all that sand. Maybe. He didn't specify whether it was on the surface, which is completely blasted by magical fallout, or the islands above, which stretch out forever west. Wait a second. Did you say Thaddeus died? Yeah. Um, the Hand of Sandrak was following me. Had a team of Nightblades with her, and... What matters now is that we have a location for a location. And that's better than yesterday. We find this Shrine Forge. We're one step closer to finding some weakness in Sandrak's hold over the Binding Stone. I'll break out our scrying records on Rasharnian troop movements in Oriman within the last year. You know, they say one after effect of being inside a massive volcano is dehydration. I'm just tired. Get some rest. Narrowing down this search to anything actionable is likely to take all night. I might have an idea on how to shorten that. This was extraordinary work, Anishia. Thank you, sir. Hmm. An actual compliment from her. Jack, hold up. Zendara's right. You do the immortals proud, my friend. And it's great to see you back in one piece after that whole adventure. Thanks, Dev. It's good to see you too. Just now, when you were telling us about Thaddeus, I noticed something might have been distracting you. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Your face at one point, it was like you'd seen a ghost. Forgive me for prying. I, um... I saw someone I used to know, and she's in trouble. Look, this isn't the place, but I'll fill you in when I can. What kind of trouble? This is not the place. Oh, right. Right you are. And, you know, keep it to yourself, okay? Why would you even have to ask that? <laughs> you can't be serious. Point? I promise to keep it to myself. Also, I'm so very sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your Lori friend. Is friend the right word? I know I embarrassed myself. His name's Rook. But one thing at a time, Devin. I gotta head out. I haven't forgotten. I still owe you a conversation about Sandrak having been an immortal. But finding the Shrine Forge is priority one right now. Yeah, she's not wrong. You heard the Grand Magnus. Return to quarters, get some rest. Okay. I just like making sure that, you know, all of our conversations are had. Yoda's alive. What? What am I supposed to do with that? I got nothing. You look like you could use some sleep, sir. Yeah, probably. So they're showing... I'm on, I'm on this side, okay. I'm so, no, no, they want me to go that way. Where am I? I'm right here. So I just talked to that Hauser there. Sorry, I'm trying to make sense of the map. It's a little, at times a little hard to tell. Yeah, sometimes it's a little too hard to tell. Um, Your Lordship, Jack? Positioning, at least on the Palathon. Talk to you later, Hauser. Yeah, we got a little bit of time. We got a little bit of time, and I'm pretty sure what's coming next is going to take a moment. It's going gonna, gonna to take a fair bit of time, so... Uh, no, it's not this way. I guess I can go. No, I can't go that way. I can't do anything with these just yet because you need the re refraction crystal. So, ah, there we go. Go down. Yep. I wanted to talk to. We haven't talked to the uh, kid. That's the ball. That's not where I wanted to be. We haven't talked to the uh, that one kid in a while. 
Alright, I think we're in the... Still not in the right area. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just go. Because that's not where I want to go either. But we'll go this way because it leads out. Oh, here we are. This is where I was wanting to get. Yeah, not, not in here. It's the next one over the library. This one. It's been a little while since we've talked to this guy. Silas. Hello, sir. Oh, just the one. Okay. Sundown 10. Kirkin never talks about that battle. That's strange, sir. She found her glory names there. Fury of the Broken March. The Warbird of Aquil. That's a tradition that's fallen out of favor. Names of glory. I don't know why. They sound so crackerjack. Sundown 10's where the Grand Magnus had the accident with her arm, you know. Hold on. You know that story? Only as my father tells it. He says that after days and days of fighting, the Grand Magnus ended up overloading her sigil until it just fused into her arm. Sigils are used to level your magic. That shouldn't have happened. Father did say the Grand Magnus was arguing with her sigil constantly to lift that restriction. One day it finally gave in. What? You can't do that. I don't know, sir. She can be very intimidating. No. There, no, there's something else going on there. I'd better go. Sigils aren't sentient, are they? I don't think they're supposed to be sentient, so <laughs> that strikes me as a bunch of bull. How do I get to that conversation? There's one over there. Whatever. Let's just continue. Are you even alive? Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy, and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. I can only hear you, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I kind of just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's, I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here. Who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about. Can you believe Rashan it? Rashan almost killed you, Luna. I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like when you nap too long out in the sun. When you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that, and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! Did we find the sh- Sorry, I just want to see- Huh. <laughs> That's funny. A way to- A way to make sure that you, uh- um... Forge? We might be close. 
I brought in a specialist to help crack the case. A specialist in shrine forges? No. In Oriman. Are they named Kenzie? Up and at him, sleepyhead! I was just taking Kenzie here to meet Zendara. I predict they'll get along famously. Uh, wait, 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 not yet. Wait for me. <laughs> uh, Jack wants to see that. And I cannot blame him. I'd love to see that too. Okay, this is a side I've not... Or no, these are... Some of the doors are opening that weren't opening before. Cool. But yeah, that little re reminder on your desk is like letting you know, hey, make sure you go explore in between missions, you know? Because you have some stuff now that you can use to explore. Kind of waiting until I have all of the... Well, not waiting, waiting, but I've done some exploration. But I really want to uh, finish exploring, or like get all of the stuff that that you need. Like, the last thing I need is the refraction ability, I, th I think. I don't think I've actually been on this side before. Yeah, there's a whole, like, whole portion of this area that I've not looked at before. Because for whatever reason, I don't think about exploring this area, because there's not, um, well, I guess it's just the other side of it. Anyway. To the war room. Or war chamber, whatever. Does he have anything else to say? I doubt it. Nope. Bringing in the Oromic to help, are we? Okay. Can you believe it? The anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions <laughs> long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there? She's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home. Not to make nice with some princess that thinks... Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. I see. <laughs> so it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. <laughs> Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. <whistles> Are you scrying the entire... Entirety of Oramin at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along? You mispronounced invasive. Hm. When's the last time Oramin even pretended to be at wartime? You're looking at her. It's okay, Zendara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal <laughs> apology Excuse to me. Oramin's High Council the next time they convene at Nosia. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosia, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. Seems a little obvious once you look at it. Me. <laughs> See, I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. That sounds intimidating. You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. I'll tell Captain Selko it's go time and to have his Lance of Strikers ready. So, what should I do? <laughs> Shall we save you a seat on the assault craft? 
<laughs> no, still not my war. Ah, well, um, there's a very nice gift shop on level 10. Nope, level 10 disappeared again. It keeps overlapping with that northeastern change wind from Myopole, takes a vacation whenever it does. What? Well, that's too bad. You could have gotten your own Immortals replica badge, Kenzie. Hold up! Iopole the moon? Iopole? Our stewards are looking into it. To what now? <laughs> I was just about to head out, and they drop that lore that something on level 10 just disappears occasionally? What? Okay, before we wrap up, I'm gonna exhaust the dialogue. Indeed! Just drafting a letter to my brother before we leave. One that suggests that we're really very absolutely confident about ending Rashan's reign of terror at any moment now. I don't know if I could say that with a straight face on a far call. You should feel confident. The Shrine Forge? It means we're finally on our way to closing the gap with Sandrak. You're right, of course. And I forgot how long writing letters actually takes me anyway. I have to go back and cross out all the adverbs and exotic punctuation. My dead father thought an over-reliance on adverbs would be the death of language one day. And there was no greater hate in his heart than what he reserved for semicolons. Jeez. I feel him staring at me even now, judging my every turn of phrase. My love of the M-dash. Maybe I should just call my brother from the assault craft and avoid the punishment. You're just nervous about the combat drop. You've got a keen eye, my friend. <laughs> I mean, this, this is why I, I, go, I try to exhaust dialogue, is because it's funny. There's a lot of funny to it. Hey, going with? Yeah, I'll pass. The ooh-rah stuff is all you guys. We don't say that. You know, come to think of it, we don't have an official battle cry. It eats at you, doesn't it? I do really kind of want to yell something now and then, if I'm being honest. So, what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. Stick around a bit and take a tour of the place. Uncover some more proof of Lucian meddling in other kingdoms' state secrets, that kind of thing. <laughs> I'll see if maybe your boss lady will show me what other fun off-the-books magical surveillance doodads you guys use to keep us safe without consent. I won't. Sigh. Okay, sport. Get what's storm in the Shrine Forge. <laughs> kind of don't think she'll have a... Any pointers oh, okay. on a combat drop, sir? Didn't you do simulations in War College? I didn't, uh, go to... See, <laughs> I was more of a lucked into the whole war kind of guy. Then hope the luck holds. It'll be a long way down. Okay. War college, really. Sir, if you want to talk about Thaddeus at some point, I'll be there. Noted. Just putting it out there. Losing people is... The dead can wait. Now go meet up with Captain Selko. You'll be closing in on the Shrine Forge within the hour. Get me a way to destroy that binding stone, soldier. It's time we turn this around. You got it. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so he so it is just right there. I do think though this is a great place to wrap things up before we go into what I'm going to assume is an immediate cutscene into the combat drop. So yeah, we're gonna wrap things up here. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.